Also developing tonight, South Florida's Mario Diaz-Balart is now one of two congressmen who have tested positive for COVID-19. And they may have had symptoms while voting for a relief package on the House floor. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo speaking exclusively with Diaz-Balart. He's live at the White House with the latest. Ross. And Calvin and Nicole breaking right now. It is true. Congressman Mario Diaz-Balart is the very first person in Congress to test pos uh, positive for coronavirus. There's also been a second one. It's Utah's Ben McAdams. Now, I did speak with Diaz-Balart just a little while ago. He tells me the last time he was on the Hill was Saturday before he started self-isolating. And he said he came into contact with literally hundreds of people before he self-isolated. Saturday evening, I started feeling uh, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I started getting just intense headache and uh, fever. Congressman Mario diaz Balart now battling the virus himself, testing positive, but telling us he's feeling much better. I feel like when you have a, a flu and then you get over it, and so you're left with being just weak because you've had a fever and then with a lingering cough. D.S. Ballard was on the House floor voting last Saturday. Bill is passed. As the House passed the Coronavirus Families First Response Act that the president just signed into law, health officials now checking in with hundreds who he came into contact with. Oh, it's hundreds, literally hundreds, uh, you hundreds think, now. You so think the house should be shut down and can't stop the business of getting things done, but we're going to have to do it in a way that is uh, you know, different than when than, than, than has been done historically. Meanwhile, the president now saying he's in the battle and warning young Americans to stand at attention. We don't want them gathering. All after coronavirus appears to also be taking aim at them. There are concerning reports coming out of France and Italy about some young people getting seriously ill and very seriously ill in the ICUs. Trump now poised to use rare presidential powers. We'll be invoking the Defense Production Act. To ramp up production of vital medical necessities. That coming amid ongoing criticism that his delay has contributed to dangerous shortages from tests to masks to respirators. We are ordering uh, thousands and thousands of ventilators. And the Pentagon also now putting mobile hospitals on standby. Medical ships like the Comfort are being mobilized to New York and the president closing the Canadian border except to trade and threatening to shut down the southern border to asylum seekers. The answer is yes. And when will that happen? Very soon. Probably today. Yes. And as the market was plunging 1,300 points, the president dismissing his Treasury Secretary's warning of a possible 20% unemployment rate. I don't agree. That's an absolute total worst case scenario. Again, breaking right now, Congressman Mario diaz Balart, the first person on the Hill to test positive for coronavirus. Now there has been a second person, Utah's Ben McAdams. diaz Balart telling me that he came into contact with, quote, literally hundreds of people up on the Hill before he self-isolated. Calvin and Nicole health officials are now trying to track each and every one of those people down. New changes could be on the way to the Hill. Thanks a lot there, Russ.